For looking into the actual health impacts of the needle giveaway program, I'm Alan Marsden. And I'm Haley Watts. Action News Now reporter Christina Vitale breaks down how it impacts the safety of an entire community. An infection moving through our county is seeing increased rates because of high amounts of injection drug use. Endocarditis is a bacteria related heart valve infection. Rates are increasing in our county among younger people. Butte County public health officials say that the syringe service program could help to stop that spread. Public health as a whole supports syringe access programs because it's science based. What the science has shown us is that for public health specifically, it is very helpful in protecting the community against uh, diseases such as HIV and hepatitis C. Syringe service programs are associated, are associated with an approximately 50% reduction in HIV and hepatitis C incidents. I reached out to the Northern Valley Harm Reduction Coalition and spoke with Marin Hambly, the HIV Hep C test counselor, over the phone. What can you say to the people who are worried and are seeing large amounts of needles scattered or around their community? Um, I would say I'm really honestly glad that this conversation in awareness is increasing, that um, the problem of not having safe access to disposal has been a problem in our community for a long time, and I'm happy that more people are engaging and noticing this huge, huge need. Action News Now asked York what she'd say to people who are concerned about this program. I would just say that the syringe litter was there before a syringe access program was available, and I'm sure they it will be there some afterwards too. Over the last eight months, volunteers have picked up over 7,000 needles and even thousands more every weekend. And since our program started, um, there's been a huge decline in the amount that um, volunteers, creek cleanupers, park rangers are finding. York says people who inject drugs are 34 times more likely to dispose of the needles properly if they have access to a program like this. Public health is available for any groups or organizations that need some data and information on it. They can contact our department and we're happy to come out and do a presentation. Let's transform concern into access and more programs. The more we support, meet people where they're at, connect people to resources, the stronger our whole community is. The Northern Valley Harm Reduction Coalition wants to remind people that if you see a needle, to call their hotline number. Live in Chico, Christina Vitale, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Now, the CDC also reports that they are seeing uh, actual big major changes. When we see these needle shops uh, set up shop, basically we're seeing a drop in bloodborne infections and a drop in trash whenever these needle shops set up shop across communities.